Drilling is complete. Just remove your tape. And I'm going to fire in the top cons to make this base plate permanent. What's a top con, Bob? One of these blue babies. What makes it special from the roof uh, well, it's a, a very, very strong metal. And the drilling that I did, I did it with a specific size drill bit, and these are slightly bigger, and they've got a bizarre little ribbing. Makes them grab the concrete. So top cons are made for concrete? Yeah. Okay, now that we've got the, uh, the bottom plates anchored into the floor, we just gotta locate our holes in the ceiling. As you can see, I've got a level on the panel to make sure that it is actually vertical. And with a plumb bob, you put it right on this peg and you'll find your mark in the ceiling, which is right there. Okay, this is going to go up into the ceiling. This ring has the bevel side. It actually sits on the ceiling like that and gets screwed into the wood. And then you have the protective cover or the decorative cover. Okay, now you've got your ring on top of the post, Allen key. Branch it in. And normally this post here is way up in the air, but we have a high ceiling. It comes down over the post and creates a triangle, which stiffens it up. This is a little unusual because there's not a lot of post to work with but it still does have a stiffening effect, so it doesn't have to put it in there. And before you put your uh, ceiling tiles back in, look for tools because you might need them the next time. Okay, I noticed that there were a few bubbles in the uh, cling vinyl um, application, so just to spruce it up a little bit, peel 
back. The recap on the uh, permanent graphic panel. In this situation, if we're drilling into the carpet, we cut out the circles, make our marks with the stands, put the panel on, and with the plumb bob, we find our, our ceiling holes, put on our fasteners in the proper order, and make sure it's secure.